first line, isn't that beautiful? When a man loves a woman, can't keep his mind on nothing else, he changed the world for the good thing he has found. My God, it's, it's, it's timeless, it's timeless. This is 1965, but it stands still. Um, so Queen Ivy recorded this on a very primitive way, and, 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 and he knew, my God, I have a hit, I have a hit record. This is so good, everybody should, should listen to it. But what do I do? I'm here in the rural country of, of, of Alabama. How do I bring this to the people? And he came to Rick Hall, the guy of the fame studio, and Rick Hall <laughs> said, I know somebody in New York, Jerry Wexler, the guy from Atlantic Records, the biggest guy in, the, in, in record companies in America at the time. And, and, and uh, Jerry Wexler, he liked it. He, the only thing he said, you have this horn, these horns, just a bunch of people from the local fanfare, I don't know where they got them from, but they were not really credited. And he said, those horns, they are out of tune. It's at, really, it's at the end of the song, here they are. They, they flew win a couple of, drove in, I guess, from Memphis, the Memphis horns, the truly better horns, and uh, they re-recorded re the horns, and then the single got pressed and spread all over the United States, and Jerry Wexler put on his first single on this record player, wrong version. <laughs> the version I just let you hear is the old version, it. and that is the hit. I think it's a blessing in disguise, because you don't need, you know, out of tune. Who cares? The feeling is so good. Here is the here is the proper version, but I'll, I'll show you a bit. A sample of the new horns. They, they, they this was only released in '94. The old version that breathes, that that, that let you believe that love is beautiful. That is the one who had a hit, who was the hit, and I, I'm so happy for it.